Hi, this is Kat with the OSU Museum of Art and welcome to the Daily Art at the Museum. For today's STEAM activities, and STEAM activities are activities that integrate art with science, technology, engineering, and math, we are going to talk about force and motion. And we are actually going to do three different activities. The first one, I'm going to investigate the concepts of pushing and pulling. The second one, I'm going to investigate gravity. And the third one, I'm going to investigate magnets or magnetism. And I know that these vocabularies are uh, a little bit advanced. My kids are only uh, three and five. So I think with my three-year-old, we kind of just investigate and play around. And sometimes I introduce her the vocabulary, for example, like gravity, and she doesn't really grasp uh, but I think the point is really just to play, introduce vocabulary, ask questions, investigation. And um, that's it. So for the first activity, we're going to need some sort of tray. I had this plastic one, but it could be any tray, uh, preferably non-breakable. <laughs> and then a piece of paper that you're going to tape to your tray. And then you also need a little piece of cardboard because uh, the... Uh, kids will be pushing and pulling to create a painting. The second activity that we are going to explore gravity, we are going to need a big piece of paper. I'm, I used a big piece of um, white cardboard. Um, so you can use anything that you have in your house. It can even be brown paper. You're just going to have to use a little bit darker paint. And I used watercolor, but you can use any paint. Just add some water on it. I had these little uh, watercolor droplets, but you can use like a syringe or a sponge that you have in your house. It's just something so you can drop the paint on top. You can even use a plastic spoon. Okay, um, for the third activity, uh, you're gonna need, uh, I used a paper plate and you need some sort of uh, magnet. You can use fridge magnets, although some are not as strong. I uh, end up using my name tag because the magnet is really strong on it. So you may have a little bit of a hard time finding uh, magnets at your house. Uh, but if you, if you only have uh, fridge magnets, you can use uh, thinner paper plates or maybe just a piece of paper that you hold it like that to form resistance. And then of course, any type of paint that you have laying around, I often use tempera paint. Um, so that's what I use for this activity. All right, let's get to it. Uh, I'm gonna show you the activities that I did with my girls so you can see how it all went down. Okay, I have my two little helpers. This is? <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna use our force, right? To move the plate. Yeah, to do the cardboard. Very good. All right. What color? Yeah, you're just kind of yeah, kind of bendy. So we'll see how that goes. We'll explore how that goes, bending or not bending. What color do you want? I want black and blue. Okay. How about you, Cece? Um, black and yellow. Mm -hmm. Black. Right. We're going to talk about gravity later, by the way. That kind of makes the paint go different ways. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's our next. Use your cardboard. You're out of the. Do you want to try another one with different colors? Yeah. I want to try another one with different colors. Can we all do the same again? To create your painting? Ooh. What kind of movement are you doing, Izzy? Back and forth. Back and forth? It's looking really nice. It's almost like fire. about gravity. Izzy, do you know what gravity is? Yeah. What is it? Oh, when something keeps you down. 
Yeah, so like a force that keeps you down, that pulls you down. It pulls you down. Very and good. You can't float. <laughs> so you can't float? Yeah. Can you stand up? Okay. Yeah. Woo! What's happening? What's happening, Izzy? I don't know. It's going down. What's happening, Cece? It's going down. Nice. Do you want to try a different color? Yeah. Why do you think it goes down? Because it's gravity. Because mm -hmm. it pulls down? try to make a painting with our magnet. Do you want to try, Cece? Can I do that one? Yeah. Oh, Cece. You're doing a good job. Hi, Bubba. Ooh. Do you need a little help? It is a little bit hard depending on your paper plate. This one is a little, my paper plate that I had is a little, little thick. Yeah. So this, my name tag magnet, it's a little bit stronger. So it works a little better than the kitchen magnets. So this may be an experiment that it may work or it may not work at your house. Here, mommy will hold. And for our next STEAM activity, we are going to be doing a slow looking exercise and drawing from observation. All right, see you next time.